So you're gonna need about a pound and a half of flank steak. I have beef stew meat here and I just sliced it thinner. And I have a pound here sliced up. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in a Ziploc bag with one fourth cup cornstarch and get it all in together, get it coated good, and then we'll go from there. Okay, you're gonna add your steak to your crock pot. Okay, and now I'm going to add the sauces and everything um, that we're gonna pour over the beef. So what you're gonna need is about a fourth a cup of chopped onion. I just have a really small onion here. I'm just gonna use all of it. I love onion flavor. You can't go wrong with onion. The recipe says a half a teaspoon of garlic, but I'm just gonna put in three cloves. It's probably about a teaspoon, but again, you can't go wrong with garlic either. Okay, the recipe says two tablespoons of sesame oil, sesame seed oil, but that scares me. I mean, sesame is a strong taste, so I'm only doing one tablespoon, because I don't know, that, that scares me. <laughs> You're also going to need a half a cup of soy sauce. You're also going to need a half a cup of beef broth. And you're going to need three fourths cup brown sugar. You're going to need about a fourth a teaspoon of red hot, those crushed red pepper flakes. And we're going to mix that all together. I tasted it and it's not bad. I'm just going to add a little more of this. I just get nervous with sesame seed oil. That's good. Oh my goodness, that's good. Okay, we're gonna pour this down over our flank steak. And again, it looks like I don't have enough steak, but Derek already had some of the meat for his meal because he's not having sugar right now. Now I'm just gonna combine all this. Awesome, oh my goodness. I'm excited for this because the sauce tastes incredible. Okay. So you could cook it on low for four to five hours or high two to three. I'm gonna cook this on low. Okay, this is done. I have my rice going in my rice cooker, so we're gonna wait on that. Mmm, this smells so good. Oh, nice and thick. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Okay, I got a bite here with the onions with it too, so I'm gonna give this a taste. Oh my word, that's good. Holy cow. Mmm. I know what I'm gonna do now. I don't have any fresh broccoli, but I have this organic broccoli florets that I get from Costco. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to microwave this broccoli in its steam pouch, and then when that's done, I'm gonna toss it in with this. That's not what the recipe says, but that's what I'm going to do because the moment I tasted this, I was like, broccoli. So I'm gonna heat this up and then add it to the beef mixture. This is so good. Okay, well, I'm gonna get this over the rice. Mm, and here you have it guys, slow cooker Korean beef. It is so good, add the broccoli. I even say add some water chestnuts. Next time I make this, I'm gonna do that. All right guys, we'll see you later. Thanks for joining me, bye.